Hi, this is Megan Keene with Avid Artist Relations here in Austin, Texas for South by Southwest 2011. And I am standing with Kyle Smith, writer, director, and Brian Wessel, uh, editor of Turkey Bowl, which is part of the Emerging Visions section here at the festival this year. So uh, Kyle, first tell, tell us a little bit about um, what Turkey Bowl is about and how you came up with the concept. Uh, Turkey Bowl is a film told in real time. It's about 64 minutes long. Just about a group of 10 friends playing a game of touch football. Very simple. That's really it. There's no real plot to speak of. And came up with it just because every year I, I have a Turkey Bowl that I play at home with some friends of mine and I realized how we were all sort of growing apart a little bit and thought it would be a fun way to shoot a movie and tell some, you know, have some friends there, be there and have fun and, I don't know, make a movie. So that's, that's it. Very simple. <laughs> all around. And so, um, in developing the concept, did you ever, cons I mean, how did you know that you were going to go for it as a feature length film as opposed to a short? There was something about um, the challenge of making it a feature film, of saying we're going to do a football game, and football games last about an hour, so it's like, let's do that and make it more, if it's a short, it might, it'll feel like a snippet of something, but a feature I can make it a complete whole thing and make it feel like a real, a real game. So that's why we went for the feature length thing, as crazy as it sounded at the time. And so, um, how did you um, and Brian start working together? At what point were you brought into the process? Uh, well, I know I, I know I know Kyle from uh, grad school. We met uh, at AFI, and um, I cut one of his first year films, and then I cut his thesis film. And um, he's been he was talking to, talking to me about it ever since he was writing it. So I told him, Yeah, I'm on board. Let me know. And so, um, how did you guys work creatively together um, on the edit, the post-production process? I guess you can go first. Yeah, I'll start here. We, we shot in story order, so every day we would deliver the footage to, to Brian, and he began assembling it. And then, when we, in terms of the actual editing, Brian lives like two doors down from me, so I would walk down and buy some donuts and coffee, and we'd make a lot of coffee, and then just sit there and kind of work through it in order, usually. We typically, we tell them we'd find moments in the film, but because of the nature of it, and actually it was a blessing, it was so short, we would just kind of watch until we found things, and then just chip away at them. I don't know if there's any, any you'd like to add. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, when, when, we were, when we were shooting, Kyle and Jeff Powers, the cinematographer, there were a lot of times where they weren't sure if something cut well, so a lot of times I would cut something really quick or maybe like give them a quick a little quick time online or something uh, that they could watch. So the workflow was pretty up to date. Like day by day we were just making sure everything was good. So yeah. Cool. And so um, how did you, um, first of all, tech, tech wise, how, uh, what did you shoot on? How did production work? We shot on the Canon 7D. Uh, I'll tell you. Yeah, why don't you hold it? Why don't you hold it? Why don't you hold it? I like it this way. Uh, Canon 7D, we shot for 10 days uh, in the late August in Los Angeles last year. And uh, yeah, and then 7D, I guess. <laughs> and so, and then post production, tell us a little bit about the post production workflow. Um, well, I cut it on Avid and MC5, and um, we use the AMA to bring in the uh, 70 footage transcoded to uh, DNX and you know and just sunk it through that it was it was pretty smooth and so uh, Turkey Bowl I, I just saw the film and it's awesome um, it's it's I felt like it was a film about me and my friends I feel like a lot of audience members will probably feel that way did you find that because you guys are friends and have known each other that that helped in in how you were able to to work together in post-production Absolutely. I, I often think that Brian's one of the funniest people I've ever known, like naturally funny. And it's a, I think we're, we do that thing where it's like, if one of us has to laugh, ideally both of us laugh, and we kind of are very frank with each other about things like, this sucks, or this is good, or whatever. And so it made it, that made it really comfortable editing. And editing with Brian always feels like hanging out. It kind of is like the same vibe as the movie a little bit. And then we go in and like, sometimes I sit on the couch, sometimes I sit right there, sometimes I'm really focused, other days I'm on my phone. It's, it's kind of... Uh, it was just it was comfortable to work with someone who I've known so well. So yeah. And any particular challenges in post production for you, Brian? Um. Well, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I, it was for the most part. I think the biggest challenge was probably since this is a real time film, and Kyle and I really talked. We talked about keeping that real time look. We didn't want to really jump the action too much, but at the same time, it was single camera, so continuity was really hard to do. So. There were a lot of times where we had to pull a shot from a different scene and, okay. and sheet a lot of things in that way. You know, it's just one of those things you can't really predict when you're on set. You know, but you know, it's like 
it, it, and if, in the for the most part, I, I would say it was pretty smooth. I mean, we we would we li would lay down our cuts quickly, and we would watch them and make notes of what we would do. I think all we did was just make passes from the beginning to the end. We wouldn't there wasn't really like specific parts where we were like. Let's skip that and, and come back. It was it was pretty smooth. That's a, the biggest conflict we probably had was over the real time because I would be like, we've got it. It's got to be real time. We got to let this like ten seconds play out to get to the next play. And Brian's like, <laughs> nothing's happening. Like, so there is sometimes the, some of those states, some left. There are some cheats in the real time in the film, but for the most part, it's all there. Cool. So if people aren't here at the festival, can't make it out to Austin, uh, but want to keep up with what's happening with Turkey Bowl, anyway, where can they go? Uh, there's a basic website, Turkey Bowl 2011, the numbers. Uh, Dot com and most of the updates will be on the Facebook page, which is linked on the main page, or Facebook.com slash Turkey Bowl Movie, all one word. And that's where most updates and things about festivals or whatever else will be. Cool. Well, thank you guys. Congratulations. Um, and stay tuned for more from South by Southwest 2011.